Right, I've just removed this bolt. I think it's uh, 30 mil from this from the cylinder head there, the block, head to block. And uh, looking at the end of it, that doesn't look good, does it? It's got a bit of alloy there where it's pulled the thread out. So I'm going to replace it with a 5 mil longer bolt than that. And, uh, and just see what happens, see if I've still got leakage going on there. Hmm, to be continued. Right, I've got my, uh, my whole depth gauge piece of wire in the hole. And if I poke it down through, can you see it? Coming out the bottom there. That. But unfortunately, they haven't continued. You can see the bottom of the hole, but they haven't threaded all the way through. That's a real shame because you could have put a longer bolt in there and put a nut on the end as a real clamp. Anyway, I have found a bolt here which is... Stay still. Never work with kids or animals or nuts and bolts. That is 15 mil longer looking at that. So what I'm going to do is a Honda bolt. This bike's going to be more Honda than a Royal Enfield, isn't it, at the end? Anyway, I'm going to lop off 6 or 7 mil off the end of there and I'm going to carry on threading down there with the tap and die set. So, obviously, the thread starts about... I mean, when I undid it... Let's take my adjusting... When I undid it, the bolt was loose literally four or five mil up that's all so that's all it's biting into here with four or five mil that's not sufficient to into alloy to have any clamping power right so let's uh let's do some adjusting of that bolt right well i've nipped 10 mil off the end of there so when that's done up effectively it should have Oh, crikey, about 14 mil of thread going into the alloy. It's just a good job I didn't try and wind that up even more because that would have just pulled out any thread that's left in there. Right, okay, well I've got me, I've got me die set up, my M6 die, so I'm going to whiz that on there and go from there using my cutting compound. Right, let's see what happens. Right, I've recut some new thread on there, and that should, it's actually over what I need, but that, that should bite in all that extra meat on there, so you've got an extra 5, 6 mil going down into that threaded area, so let's see how that goes. Hmm, I wonder. Right, well that bolt sits up a good 12, 13 mil, whereas before this one only sat up 5 mil. On to, at, the, at the start of the thread down in here. So let's see how far I can wind that in without too much resistance and uh, see how we go from there. Right, fingers crossed. Well that's wound right in nicely. Can't really see under there too much. I know it's close. But yeah, I mean that squeezed a bit of oil out of that join there. And uh, yeah, that's that's gone down quite tight. I don't want to push it any further because I don't want to strip whatever threads left in there. So uh, yeah, that should be good.